Hi, this slide is about explaining that really all distributors are not either or product centric or customer centric, but they are and both and they need to become a lot more customer centric. So to sort of represent our orientation, if I said to a customer, okay, you're it, at your place of business and two phones are ringing. One is your number one most important supplier and one's your number one most important customer or a big important customer. Which do you enter first? People go, oh, I answer the customers. I answer the customer first. We're all about the customer. The customer is king, da, 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 da. And great. Uh, so I can see that, you know, you've got some customer centricity to your business. However, if I said, let's look at your printed materials. And guess what? All your printed materials are catalogs and line cards and product promotional kinds of stuff. How much of your printed materials are uh, supply chain, service value chain solutions, how we lower your TPC, improve your uptime, your customer satisfaction, retention economics, and so forth? And people would say, well, none. And if I said, if I, we go look at your sales meetings, how much your sales meeting, your sales training, everything else is all about, you know, service value solutions, et cetera. People would say, well, not much. If I said, what if, 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 if I said, well, you know, when you talk about su pleasing your suppliers and sitting down with your suppliers and look at all the reports they give you and da, 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 as opposed to sit down with your customers and talk about continuous improvement of your buy-sell process and so forth, they'd say, well, no, we don't. So I'm just identifying a lot more stuff we could do and the reason we want to do it is because it pays a lot more because that's what the customer wants and will value. We're not anymore in a world where the customer is saying, hey, everything's an allocation. Can you get me some X allotment? I'd be happy to pay list price. Uh, we're not in a world where some brands are better or people are loyal to it because it, it doesn't break down as often. Um, we're not in a world where we have to create demand and teach customers how to need something or want something. We're in a world where 90% of their spend is on the same old stuff. And what they're looking for is a low cost fulfillment solution. They have vice presidents of supply chain. They don't have vice president of purchase anymore. More. So we need to go out and sell them total procurement costs. We need to say, we're out here to build your bottom line. Your most important need is growing your sales profitably and building your bottom line. I'm here to provide solutions to do that. P.S. The product happens to be part of, of that solution. So it's a, it's a subtle but very powerful different way of looking at our business. So let's move down to the 10 yard line. Give the customer exactly what they want, and surprise, surprise, if we double our sales and start growing fast industry, aren't the suppliers being served too? They could beef and say, but you're not selling all of the potential customers you could sell. And we'd say, well, that's because we're not a decathlete anymore. We're an event specialist, and we want to own uh, one niche at a time rather than having 10% of, of 10 different niches and having nothing. So let's become more customer-centric. Thank you.